Hi all, welcome back, but not in a shop, but uh, in my office uh, today. Um, we, are going to, we are going to work on a new project and um, I was asking from a, a, a new customer um, to create a propeller for um, a square modeling of submarine. And um, they need to make um, some mold and casting and I have to make uh, uh, what we called the model. Um, so I, I received dimension and use uh, my um, CAD software, uh, in this case it is FreeCAD, uh, to, to design the, the propeller. Uh, so with the, the customer dimension, um, here is the design uh, created in, in three dimensions. And um, that is new uh, on this product, is the fact that uh, um, a propeller um, had some blade and the blade are twisted. Um, I guess you can see the, the, the way the, the blade are twisted. And um, from a design point, it's not very easy, uh, for the calculation also, also not, but um, the science is very good to make uh, such complex parts. And uh, in this uh, case, uh, we will use the uh, 3D carving operation uh, to, to create uh, the entire model. And uh, we will do it uh, from the back side here and on the top side also. So um, the, the, first step, uh, the first step with the, the designing is done. And to, to create such things, um, it's a little bit complicated, but uh, uh, I can show you the step. Um, where we go and uh, the, the way we obtain uh, such a propeller. Um, the first thing is, uh, is um, let's say the profile, the external profile or the projection we, we can have on the Z. And it, it's uh, this kind of block um, that define the shape of one propeller. And of course, of course this shape you know, is, uh, is copying uh, for, the, for the other blade. Uh, the other the other thing that we use uh, to create a propeller is um, a twisted plane as a reference and you can see that uh, this plane is twisted and um, take all the blade in it so uh, the way we created some um, 3d propeller is uh, actually done this way um, we create uh, the shape, uh, the twisted shape in the space, and then we use, uh, like a cutting tool, uh, the projection of uh, the section we want to have, and uh, the result is a one one blade, and um, you can see uh, it's on the on this way. Then the next step uh, will be to. Uh, to create you know, the, the G code uh, for that, and in this particular operation, um, the first step is to export uh, this model in a 3D design. So uh, I will use uh, a mesh, a mesh file, an STL format, and uh, then I, I go with uh, PyCam. PyCam is very powerful um to generate the tool pass so the first thing you have to do is to open the model so uh, we have the model here we can show you the model so uh, you can see here the same model that uh, we we have in the in the design uh, things then um, you define that uh, on like on the basic uh, stuff, you know the the kind of tool you you will need. So for the for the rough cut, uh, we will use some let's say some very soft material in the first step uh, to make a prototype, and um, you you define the um, the tool, then the kind of process uh, we will make. So in in this case, it's a 3D carving with a small overlap of five percent on the tool and. Uh, we accept and we ask, you know, to the to the 3D carving uh, ordered two millimeters of uh, uh, more material uh, for the finish pass. Uh, then you, you can define the the box or the raw material you you will use. Then uh, 
on the type of task so you can make a roughing a semi-finishing finish and uh, more complex things with Pycam and then you calculate the toolpath so the toolpath is already calculated it generates uh, you know the, these paths and um, we can show uh, the, the way the tool will work on the CNC machine so um, with a, a simulation and you can see here uh, the way the tool will work so it will be a deep a deep plunge and then it will travel and follow uh, as does the um, on all the material so uh, I can do this choice because the material will be very soft so uh, we can uh, take a big a big plunge uh, if the material is uh, harder uh, like aluminium uh, or hardwood uh, to make the model um, we can define several passes to obtain the same result the only difference will be the, the machining time that will be um, longer so here it is the the new project and um, you will see uh, all the steps you know on the CNC machine for this uh, new customer and um, I guess that uh, the 3d carving uh, could be something very interesting to show uh, to show you uh, and we will see if the CNC machine is able to do uh, such complex parts thanks for watching